Yeah, um, well, I have. I've played this one not as much as the first one, so I might get a bit stuck. Well, 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 Guy Brush Threepwood, you do turn up in the strangest places. Uh, hi, Elaine. Uh, do you think you could help me out? How did you get into this mess? <laughs> it's kind of a long story. Oh, that's okay. I've got time. Uh, well, it all started on Scab Island. Some of my admiring fans had pressured me into telling my LeChuck evaporating story once again. Deep in the Caribbean, Scab Island. So I bust into the church and say, Now you're in for it, you bilious bag of barnacle bait! And then LeChuck cries, Guybrush, have mercy! I can't take it anymore! I think I know how he must have felt. <laughs> yeah, if I hear this story one more time, I'm gonna be crying myself. Don't you have any new stories? Well, actually, that's why I'm here on Scab Island. I'm on a whole new adventure. Growing a mustache? No, bigger than that. A beard? No, I'm in search of treasure. The biggest treasure of them all. A treasure so valuable and so well hidden that it haunts the dreams of every pirate on the seas. You mean... Big whoop? None other. Then why'd you come here? There's no treasure on Scab Island. Well, I didn't know that before. Now I'm trying to charter a ship and look someplace else. When I return, I'll have riches galore and a whole new story. Or you'll have died trying. Either way, we won't have to hear about LeChuck anymore. Those guys wouldn't know a good story even if they paid 50 bucks for it. When I find Big Whoop, I'll become a legend among pirates for generations to come. I can only charter a ship and get off this stinking island. He's had a... Oh! Misbehave! Oh, thank you so much! Ah, oh, thank you so much! You're super kind. Thank you so much for the birthday wishes and for the birthday bits! You wonderful person, you! So lovely to see you! How have you been? Oh, okay. So he's, I wonder if I don't know where all the buttons are now. Hang on. The game is drowning you out. Is it still drowning me? Or did I fix it? I missed the end of the last game because I've had no idea what's happened. Plus. You missed the end? Oh yeah, that's right, you um, you came in later. Plus I'm still spun out from my nap. <laughs> that must have been one heavy nap. <laughs> Naps are dangerous. Well you thought it was the next, you thought it was Monday. <laughs> still crazy. So, oh, Adam, hi! You sorted out your audio problem. Oh, fab, 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 fab. Was it just something, something silly that you fixed? That's normally what it is for me. How am I? Oh, I'm good. Thank you, Adam. I'm all right. Thank you. Just, um, just chilling out. It's my birthday, so I'm just having a chilled one today. So. It's her job to protect him. Yeah, um, Elaine, she's come to collect Guybrush. Does the F10, oh, the F10 button's not the pass button anymore. Oh, how do I do that? Okay. Oh, the buttons are all changed. Oh, okay. Space does that. Damn. Oh, we're going into wood tick. Ah! Don't go on that bridge. There's like, oh, don't. Oh, oh that's. Oh, I pressed the audio commentary. Oh, that's interesting. Okay. Okay. So I assume 50 bucks was how much the game cost in the 90s when it was released. No, no, it wouldn't have been. Um, I think they've. They've increased that for inflation because it's like 50 bucks now for a game. Ish, I guess. Trombones, hi, how are you doing? Good morning, afternoon. <laughs> good afternoon, how goes it? Birthday, birthday's good, yes, yeah, birthday's good. Um, basically, got up, well, apart from the fact I didn't sleep last night, <laughs> I played Dragon Age this morning and then I went to the shops. Um, and uh, then I went to my mum's for a roast. And then I've just just come back here playing games, so I can't complain, just had a chill one. It's all good. 
You're a bit loud compared to me. Okay, let's sort that. Where am I going? This everything loud. Maybe the dialogue too. Okay. Let's work with that. We'll alter it if we need to. Just let me know. Is that better? Is that a bit better? I just need to handle some settings. That was it. Oh, okay. So you just need to allow it. What the fuck was that? That was audio commentary. So I guess the game developers that they they did they did their own commentary for this one. Was that don't do this the wrong way? But if it is your birthday, then don't you have any friends to glam up with and go out with and party? Well, it's Sunday and I have to work tomorrow. Also, I'm old, so I don't do that. Also, I did that on Friday, and I'm. Well, I'm not recovering, I'm fine. Um, but I was really tired on Saturday. <laughs> yes, it's my birthday, Adam, yeah? Right, so we need to pick that up. Oops, I think I broke the sign. It's fine. Oh? Where do you think you're going, fancy pants? You ain't from these parts, are you? This is a toll bridge. You gotta pay. This is the party. Yeah, exactly. What are you talking about? We are the party. <laughs> we need just some. Oops, 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 oops. Oh yeah. I don't need to go out. I can stay in and have a good time. Is this is a bribe situation. Sure, I'll take my money. I don't want any trouble. Who's gonna pay me, shorty? I don't pay for nothing. I'm a pirate. I don't pay for nothing. I'm a pirate. Tough guy, huh? <laughs> Help! Police! <laughs> Scream as loud as you want. There's no police on Scab Island. Who keeps the law and maintains order? And who eats donuts and rubs with transients? Then who keeps up the law and maintains order? I'm the only law on this island. Whoa. Hey, you're loaded. This is my lucky night. Remember, wherever you go, on sea or on land, you can't ever hide from Lago Legrand. Lago Legrand. Tough town. I guess I should have got those traveler's checks. Right, how do we... Okay, now we just have a shovel. We used to, we had a tiara and all the coins before. <laughs> oh, now we don't. Now we have a shovel. Okay, I've got into my inventory. I don't know how to do anything else. Let me see. Oh. You should find out more about Lago. Uh, well, what's it? Oh, H for hint, okay. Trying to figure out what controls I can use. Okay. I guess not a lot. <laughs> Birthdays are the only days I don't get breakfast in, in bad. Breakfast in bad? <laughs> Bre birthday should be the day that you get it in bed. So you're now old, Melissa is old. <gasps> hides, hides from Melissa. Well, Melissa's not said anything, Melissa's after you. Sound levels are much better. The in-game music is really quiet, was really quiet before. God damn it. Thank you. Not God damn it at you, just God damn it at me. <laughs> okay. There we go, maybe this is better. Let me know whether that's okay. Pixie looks fantastic for a 54, 54 year old. Hi, thank you. Uh -huh. Oh! Yeah? That's new. What's with that Largo What's guy? What's the problem with that Largo guy? He really goes against my grain. I'd like to make an end table out of him. 
but I don't have the guts. With all my tools, I'm still unable to create the one thing that could do this island some good. Like an all-night tattoo parlor? No. Like a voodoo doll of Largo Legrand. Oh. Hmm. Pickles, hi, how are you doing? Hey, Pickles, Pixie's 24. Thanks, guys. Apart, apart from John, <laughs> I'm, all, I'm getting young ages. <laughs> Pirates robbing pirates, no honor. You think there'd be a pirate code, but is the pirate code just steal? We'll be just getting an Easter egg I haven't eaten yet. No worries, Adam, see you in a bit. Hence, who does it think we are? Save that for later, though. <laughs> Tell me that later. Someone who's turning 40 in real life this year, Ash. Ash is turning 30, isn't he? There, you turn 30 the same way Pix turns 21 today, so yeah. <laughs> How much wood could a woodchuck chuck if a woodchuck could, could chuck, chuck wood? wood? A woodchuck could chuck no amount of wood since a woodchuck can't, can't chuck, chuck wood. wood. Can't chuck wood? But if a woodchuck could chuck and would chuck some amount of wood, what amount of wood would a woodchuck chuck? But if a woodchuck could Nailed chuck and would chuck some amount of wood, what amount of wood would a woodchuck chuck? Even if a woodchuck could chuck wood and even if a woodchuck would chuck wood, should a woodchuck chuck wood? You like the clarinet trombones? It's good, isn't it? I love the music of Monkey Island. It's always fab. Pickles is 22. 22 years young. A woodchuck should chuck if a woodchuck could chuck wood as long as a woodchuck would chuck wood. Does that even make sense? A woodchuck should chuck if a woodchuck could chuck wood as long as a woodchuck would chuck wood. Oh, shut up. <laughs> you got them before me. Nice apron. Are you some sort of chef? No, I'm a woodsmith, which gives one of us an excuse for dressing funny. I'd like to look around a bit. Sure thing. Hey, that jacket is spiffy, Gabbers. Don't you be worried about what he said. This is new. You see what I mean? Like before in Monkey Island, we have to select it. So push nails, use nails, look at nails, pickle pens. What do you think you're doing? Oh. I need all of them. All of those nails? Hang on, I did it. Can I have the hammer? Hey, don't touch that. Oh. It's not a toy. Push him. Push him over. So that we can have it. Talk? <clears throat> yeah. Can I talk I'd about like those to look nails? around a bit. Sure thing. Damn it. You won't let me have any of them. We share. How old is your vicious brother? Uh, you mean my brother? My brother is younger than me. By two years. He is the baby. Did you check out... Did I check out Slap Some Beans out, by the way? Oh! I watched the trailer you put in Discord, but I, I forgot all about it, actually. AKA Brutus. Yeah, no, he's, uh, he's younger than me. He's tw 29. Hang on, yeah, 29 this year? That makes sense, right? Yeah. Well, nothing we can do here. Okay. Willie! Hello. Hello, Willie. Uh, excuse me. Oh, uh, yes. Hi there. Can I help oh, you? Oh, Wally. Willie or Wally? Hi, I'm Gabby Shreepwood. My truck busted stud. <laughs> Hi, I'm Guybrush Threepwood, <laughs> LeChuck Busting Stud. Uh-huh. Is that it? Don't you want to hear my story? <laughs> Age is made up. Time is material. Play Vigima games. Just waste all my time in Vigima games. Look at map. Nice map. Yep. So you're really into maps, I take it. I want to talk to you. 
Uh, excuse me. Yes? Uh, who are you? Hi, I'm Guybrush. Who are you? Wally. Wally B. Feed. At your service. Wally. It was Wally. I knew it was something W. Whew. You look younger, but that doesn't imply Pix looks old at all. Is it Rogue Pix is two years younger? I'm two years. <laughs> two years my better. Yes, his better. Kinda guess he was that old. N twenties. Yeah. Pretty much the very end. Pixie's brother is cool. He's all right. He's cooler than me, anyway. I have some questions about Scab. Do you know anything about the Big Whoop? It's what I'm searching for. Do you know this anything is my about big, big Next story. Uh oh. Who sent you here? I should warn you. I'm heavily armed. With what? Nobody sent me. I'm freelance. Nobody sent me. I'm freelance. You better not try for my files. All my research on Big Whoop is in there. He has information. What information? Can I see your files? Can I see your files? Actually, there's not anything in them. I haven't really been able to find out much hard information. What do you know about it? I'm, I'm asking because I don't know anything about it. I know I'm looking for it and that's about it. I know it contains unimaginable wealth. I know its location is a mystery. I don't really know that much about it at all. I yeah. know I'm looking for it, and that's about it. You mean you never heard of the four men who buried it? No, tell me the story. No, tell me all about it. Well, all anyone knows for sure is that there was a shipwreck. The merchant vessel Elaine went down in a terrible storm. Elaine? Only four crew members survived. They washed up on a remote deserted island. Some say its name was Inky Island, but I don't believe that. Why? Well, why don't you believe it? Because there's no such island. Anyway, that's where they supposedly found Big Whoop. But what is Big Whoop? Whatever it was, it was so wonderful, or so horrible, that they never wanted anyone else to find it. So, they took the map they made of the island and split it up among the four of them, and they all went their separate ways. Where are they now? Well, I don't even know their names. I'd go look them up at the Fat City Library if it weren't for this stupid Largo embargo. Of course, it could just be an old legend, but if I could just see the map of that island, I bet I could recognize the shape of the land and track it down myself. Good to know, Wally. Good to know. What's that? What, uh, what was my opinion on the game? Uh, the look of the game, I actually can't remember it at all now, Adam. I remember checking it out the, when it first, when we first spoke about it. I remember sort of like laughing about it, but um, I can't remember. For the life of me, can't remember it now. I'll have to re-watch re it. <laughs> You'll make him blush. Don't be too kind to him. It'll go to his head. What do you do here, Wally? What exactly do you do here? I'm a cartographer. You do open heart surgery? In here? Uh, no. I'm the map making sort of cartographer. Oh. He also has a look on stream like he got picked on when he was a child picks. He has that look of a scared gazelle. That's just his look. That's just what he looks like. <laughs> Joel is to Icarus as Pix is to the sun. <laughs> Time to fall, Joel. Oh. See, Ash, Ash is my fan. Ash loves me. What kinds of maps do you make? So all you do make maps. Only sissies use maps. Hey, guy, but she used a map, although it was kind of crap. Is that all you do? Make maps? Well, I do some restoration work too. I paste them together, recopy them, paint little cupids in the corners. You know, artsy fartsy stuff. Maps are very, very important. 
They need it. Especially in the pirate business. Don't know what you're going on about, Guybrush. Not to me, I don't travel. Yes, you do. That's a lie, Guybrush. A friend stop and ask directions. How's business? How's business? Terrible. No one needs any maps since no one can go anywhere thanks to Largo. How can I get off this island as soon as possible? Good luck. With the sailing embargo Largo's imposed on Scab, it's hard to get anywhere. Which doesn't help my business, let me tell you. You know anything about this Largo guy? He's just the local hood. Shakes down everybody in town. Nobody comes or goes from Scab because Largo makes them pay through the nose. Yeah, tell me about it. Governor's Where's mansion? the governor's mansion? There is no governor on Scab. This no is an authority? anarchist cooperative of pirates, cutthroats, and other criminals. A haven for roughnecks and rebels like me. The only authority on this island is that bully Largo. Okay. Thanks. That's Thanks, all Bobby. I need to know. Okay, but don't be shy if you think of a question. No worry. Oh, oh, we. I wasn't leaving then. Thanks. Bye. I gotta go. Okie dokie. Lady Taters. Pile of papers. Look at. It's a pile of blank paper. That's not blank. I see things. Picked it up. It's mine. So I'm all about pushing my luck too far. <laughs> Stick to a single game. Kind of, I'm trying to think what co-ops we used to play. I just remember vividly. Now, all I can think of now is Mario Kart, Mario Kart, Mario Kart. There was a lot of Mario Kart. Tiny head. Yeah, I he does, yeah. He's a little tiny head, he's a little pinhead. Now these guys, we never actually spoke to them when we played because they're not needed to progress the story in number one. But they try and sell you like minutes in the first game, so I didn't speak to them, but they pop up again, so I will speak to them. What is it? Remember me, I'm Guybrush. We never, we never spoke. <laughs> Did you ever get that circus started? You don't know them, Guybrush. Hi. Hi. Do we know you? I'm Guybrush Rufus, Mighty Pirates. I'm Guybrush, the guy who got rid of the show. I'm the guy you tried to sell me minutes of a PTA meeting in the last game, claiming it was a map. I didn't bother talking to them. <laughs> the middle one looks pregnant. Maybe 24 weeks. I would say more. Definitely more. I'm Guybrush, the man who rid the world of LeChuck. Sure you are. No, really. Why did you wake us up, Gorbush? I'm concerned about this guy's ankle. This can't be steady enough to support his weight. It's Worrying to say the least. What are you guys doing up there? What are you guys doing up there? We're performing. Uh, that's right, performing. That's what we do for a living now. You see, after our circus failed, we started a pirate catering business on nearby Fat Island. The sacking lunch. It was quite lucrative. Why are you still doing? What does that have to do with performing? Why aren't you still doing that? The governor of the island made us an offer we, uh, <laughs> couldn't refuse. So, we sold him the business. But what does this have to do with performing? 
We're getting to that! We sank the money into one of those newfangled glass bottom boats. We wanted to take passengers on sightseeing trips. And search for a place called Drinky Island in our spare time. Boy, did we ever want to get there. Aside from the obvious reason, we had inside information that Drinky was in fact the resting place of the legendary treasure of Big Whoop. It has Inky in it, as in Inky Island. Maybe that's what it means. Well, his head is cor correctly proportioned comparatively. Um, I guess so. Everyone else is a bit chivified. They are cartoonified. Let's not get, let's not worry about it too much. I'm looking for that too. Did you uh, find anything? Monkey, hey, welcome back. How are you doing? They're artists, aren't they? Just, I mean, lazy. I mean, oh hi. <laughs> How are you doing? Big whoop. Uh, did you find anything? Not exactly. You see, we got a bit of a raw deal on the boat. Seems the salesman didn't have any glass for the bottom, so we just left a gaping hole there. By the time we noticed, we were taking on water, fast. We ended up stranded on a tiny desert island. Right. I think it's past my bedtime. When do we get to the performing part? When do we part? get to the performing part? We met a philosopher on the island, and he told us something which changed our lives. Okay. You're a pack of loonies. They should have all pacified the tears with long stories. What? What is it? What did he tell you? What? What is it? What did he say? Tell me already. He told us that all the world is a stage and that we are merely players. So, we became performance artists. In our current work, we portray man's response to global environmental issues of a changing world. I see. I want to be a pirate. <laughs> Hi, how are you doing? Jotas. Jota? Jotas? Jota? Welcome. How are you doing? How goes your Sunday? As long as Elaine is happy. That's right. She's always happy. She keeps, she keeps herself happy and entertained. Is that your is rat? That your rat? Strange as well. Yes. We call him Munster Monster because of his insatiable passion for cheese. What happened to your leg? It happened during a performance. When he lost the leg, Frank was brilliantly showing the inseparability of the path man walks from the food chain. The symbolism of the cheese was essential. You know, this leg is looking sort of dingy. Would you get some polish over at the woodsmiths and polish it for me? Give me money for polish. Give me money for the polish. Okay. How come you have to perform on that ledge? How come you have to perform on that ledge? Uh, to show the precarious nature of the situation, uh, so to speak. Right, right. Sounds like a crock of monkey stuff to me. Oh. Let's try it. I see. Sounds a little too. You do? Oh, good. See you see later. later. We can scarcely contain our anticipation. Last time I do something for you. Can I take this bucket? Hey, leave that alone. Oh, I'm um, sorry, is this your bucket? Sorry, is this your bucket? Well, no. So you won't mind if I take it? I guess not. What's his problem? Laundry guy. It's pretty sure old guy screwed that up. What did he screw up? Elaine, you mean? Oh, with <laughs> yeah, bro. Well, it wasn't really like a. They, they like each other, but he wasn't very romantic. <laughs> I don't know. I don't think he knows how to woo a lady. Last days of your holidays, uh, but you have nachos, so that makes up for it. I know it's horrible going back to work after you've had a holiday. It's like a week, a whole week off, and then it's back. It's like brutal. 
So I'm gonna take a guess that the cutscene at the start is in the middle of the game. What? I'm gonna take a guess that the cutscene of oh yeah, it's in the middle game. You have to woo her back again at the end. You'll just have to wait and see. <laughs> It's not gonna ruin it. Yataz! That's right. <laughs> That's right. What do you know about Largo, sir? What do you know about Largo Legrand? I don't know anything about cargo or contraband. I'm clean, clean, clean! I see. Who are you? Who are you? Sure, Sonny, I can get out stew. That's easy. I can also extract grog, spit, and swamp mud. That's because I'm mad, Marty. I'm mad about getting your clothes the clean as they can be. Mad Marty. I've got a laundry type question. I'd like to pick up some clues. Okay. I've got a laundry type question. Shoot. Would you be able to get ketchup out? Do you do alterations? He does laundry, he doesn't do alterations. Would you be able to get out ketchup? Get out ketchup? What do you want me to do? Uh, nothing. Okay, that's it. Oops, enough. I thought I wanted to talk to you, but I don't. Who <laughs> her? She owns him. <laughs> um, pretty much, actually. Guybrush is kind of all about her. He like adores her. Then why the distance between them in the cliff? Well, she just came down on the other side of the hole. That's just how big the hole is. Look at the creepy alligator! Oh, isn't that cute? He is. Okay, pet him. I, um, don't push. I, I guess pick up? I could lose a finger doing that. Okay, push him? I could lose a finger doing that. Pull him? I could lose a finger doing that. Rope. Innkeeper. Excuse me, Hello, I'd fine, like a room, sir. please. Sorry, we only have one and it's full. One room? This is a hotel, right? This is a hotel, yes? Hmm, only one guest. Yes, but that dang Largo eats like 30. Largo's here. Busy guy. Time is money. Use bell. Be with you in a second. Be free! And it's securely fastened. Damn it. Use rope with them. Okay, maybe not. And it's securely fastened. Do we need like a ro um a knife or something for this? Come, come on, it's a it's a knot. And it's securely fastened. Never mind. Clean pirate, pull the other one. These pirates like to be clean, apparently. Or maybe he just doesn't get a lot of business. Barky. Howdy, howdy. Excuse me. Yeah, boy? Uh, how's, how's business? business? It's just terrible. No one ever oh. comes down here anymore. Largo's got all my regular spooked. You know, I can mix any drink there is. Make anything you could name. But I can't make the one thing that could really do this island some good. What's that? A voodoo doll <gasps> of Largo Legrand. You there. Uh-oh. Give me my usual and put it in a real glass. Fork over the dough or you'll be serving Bloody Marys for a week. From your nose. That's all I have. Well, you better have more tomorrow. Or we might have to move this dump to a new location. Like, say, the bottom of the ocean. <laughs> Boy, you just gave him all your money? 
I don't want to talk about it. Oh, this poor guy. He's trying to do legitimate business here. Spit dripping down wall. Disgusting. Largo's been here. Uh, oh, yuck. <laughs> Yum. You spit on paper. Look at spit on paper, clothes inventory. Oh, yeah. That's apparently what we're doing. Um, that? It reads, Jojo, appearing nightly. No cover charge. Jojo. Can we have a grog? Excuse me. Yeah, boy? Wanna see my scar? Wanna see my scar? Depends. Is there a good story behind it? No. As a matter of fact, there is. It's a story of the ghost pirate LeChuck and his gruesome demise. Heard it. I'm this a... is the one where he drinks too much root beer and burps so hard he explodes, right? Mm, not exactly. Frankly, I don't care much for stories that promote moderation in drinking. I do have a business to run, you know. Uh, we don't have any money. Nice okay, place sorry. you have here. Well, see ya. Okay, bye. We don't have no money, though. It could be a double knot that was done really, really tight. They are impossible to undo, especially on laces. You are right. You're right there. You need nails to get double knots undone. Sir, do you have polish? <clears throat> Yeah. I was sent here for wood polish. Could I buy some wood polish? That's one piece of eight. Anything else? I'd like to look around a bit. Sure thing. I'd like to look outside. Thanking you. So I'm assuming it's one of those double knots that was done a long time ago. We need to um, use this away on peg leg. Can we shine you up? Here's a piece of eight for your trouble. Nice. Now we have wood polish and a piece of eight. Oh god, I'm stuck. Here we go. Okay. I think we can go into this window if I remember correctly. How does he get to the upper shelf bottles? They're just there for decoration. <laughs> oh, we could use that knife. Can we talk to him this guy? Excuse me. Don't bug me. I'm cooking. For who? Because there's nobody there. Nobody. He needs a good knife to the face. Oh, Largo is is not a great guy, to be honest. Yoink. Fuck. It's a cold potato and leek soup. Cold. <laughs> Nicely done, Garbage. Now we can cut the rope. Cut the rope. <laughs> you. Yeah. Needs must, needs must. We need it for our voodoo doll. I mean, you, well, maybe we'll need it. <laughs> Have fun with the spit. Oh, yeah, I will. We carry yeah, I don't want to polish that. Go, alligator. Run, be free. Hey, how do wow, peg he, biter get he loose? Did. I'd better go biter. catch him before <laughs> he catches somebody else. Maybe that's how that guy lost his leg, too. Hmm. Let's go in here. Oh, no. Roll cheesy bites. Cheese squigglies. One of my Cheese favorites. Cheese squigglies. Cheesy poofs. Open. Cool. Bit of a mess in here. There's strange little white bugs all over it. Who uh -oh. let you into my room? Shit. I, uh, thought it was my room? Well, it ain't. So get the f out of here. Oh! 
Okay then. <laughs> Naughty. So how did he afford one, one eight for the wood polish when he was skint? Guybrush, um, he got given the one, the piece of eight from um, from the artiste men. Gave him a piece of eight to go get it, and then um, gave him a piece of eight afterwards for doing it for him. So that's nice of him. <sighs> Definitely just with business for sure. Oh yeah. Go in. Creepy, but apparently seaworthy. Yeah. International House of Mojo. Can anyone guess who we're gonna go see, guys? Don't book my fucking guy feel at home. <laughs> is that what married life is like, Melissa? What is a squiggly? What is squigglies? I assume it's cheesy puffs, but squiggly <laughs> cheesy puffs. Knife face. I know, right? Gavrosh isn't really into um Well just take a little murder so much. Guy brush three food. It's been a long time since you last came to see me. Do I know you from somewhere? Tell me about this log of yours. How's business? Just want to say hi. See ya. How's business? Very good. Many hexes this week. Saved many people from the evil eye. Made many pieces of eight. Although Largo took most of them. Aww. He's even rinsing this lady. This is so unfair. We need to get rid of him. Guys, do we agree? He needs to die. Man, there's an episode of Scooby-Doo where some someone did someone days? Son of a bitch, not shocked. Someone says son of a bitch. They say that it's that's a lie. That's a lie. <laughs> that. You were hoping for Murray. I don't, Murray doesn't turn up in this one, I don't think, right? I can't remember this one as well as number one. Number one I just know so well, but number two, not so much. Well, I'd like to have my fortune read. I see a hard road for you, Guybrush. Things didn't get easy for you when you defeated LeChuck, did they? People only wanted more. You had to keep proving yourself over and over. The pressure kept mounting until you lost it all. Your fame, your fortune, the one you love. Okay, that's enough. Lane's gone. We did lose it all. Tell me about this Largo guy. He's a weak little man who bullies this whole island around. Most people are afraid of him because he was once LeChuck's right-hand man. Yeah, but LeChuck's history. I got rid of him myself. True evil can never be destroyed completely. You will see. Why don't you just put a curse on Largo? I've tried. My most powerful magic lies in voodoo dolls. But to make an effective doll, I need some items from Largo's person. And no one's brave enough to go get them for me. I am. What kind of ingredients do you need? I already have one. What kind of ingredients do you need for the doll? Are you willing to help me make one? Uh, maybe? To make it work, you need to bring me some personal artifacts of the victim. One from each of the four basic voodoo groups. Something of the thread, something of the head, something of the body, and something of the dead. Hey, that almost rhymes. For the thread, I need a piece of Largo's clothing, and a lock of hair will do for the head. Bring me a sample of fluid from his body, and from his dead relatives, you must acquire some remnant of a corpse. Here, take this shopping list. Thanks. Do you have any of those ingredients with you? In fact... I, I have some of his spit. 
Excellent. You may keep the paper. Have you. you brought me any other ingredients? No. I'll bring you more later. Good. I'll be back. Now go. Okay, guys, we have a, we have a plan. We're gonna get a voodoo doll. And we're gonna voodoo cast him out of town. It's the life of a husband with a hungry and impatient wife. How many times a day do you need feeding, Melissa? Including snacks. Wow, a whole bucket of mud. And it's mine. All mine. <gasps> Come set off. What the what the what the what? What the what? How do I get it? How do I? How? Oh god, that's not right. That's wrong. Let's go look up a dead relative. Jazzy dead music. Nice. Look at that tombstone. Marco like... Largo Legrand. Hell on sea or sand. The good news is he's dead. The bad news is he bred. That is bad news. Now I have to deal with it. Let's this do... This is creepy feeling. Let's go, Guybrush. I'd swear on my grandfather's grave, something weird is going on. We look at the nice. Nice. <laughs> he likes his own handiwork, I guess. So, so you need breakfast, lunchbox, dinner. And when I'm too lazy in the evening to get up, so four. You need to be fed four times. Okay. And he accepts this. Peninsula. Did you know that voodoo dolls are based off a practice intended to promote healing and good luck for the doll's subjects? I did not because I played Monkey Island when I was younger and voodoo dolls were bad. <laughs> so Christian missionaries were like, nah, -uh, this is dark magic, no trust. I see, God is your only co-pilot. <laughs> right, okay. <laughs> oh, there's a link. Hang on, what's the link? Oh, I have no sound. Hang on. Son of a bitch. Yankees, jeepers, zoinks, front row. Son of a bitch. Yankees, <laughs> jeepers. That's just naughty. That's for children. That that's dubbed. <laughs> I never remember son of a bitch being in a Scooby Doo. <laughs> Hello, Captain Dread. Hello. Hello, man. My name's Captain Dread. Oh what God. can I do for you? I ya? forgot about Captain Dread. He's amazing. Natty Dreads. Natty Dreads. Thanks, man. I need to charter a ship. I can't charter you my ship because a while ago, I lost my lucky sailing necklace. I called it my eye that has seen the world. I can't sail without it. No way, man. Besides, that mean and nasty guy Largo, he has an embargo on the island. No ships can sail in or out without his approval. There's no way he would let me leave. Hmm, okay, fair dues, fair dues. He has no choice, otherwise I just stuff some food into me all day, and that he can't handle. I see, he doesn't like the alternative. <laughs> so he's come.
come to terms with it. No, it's actually an episode. No, it's actually an episode of Supernatural. Episode title was Scooby Natural. So it was not Scooby Doo. I've watched, I think I've watched all the Supernaturals. I don't remember this. Tell me more about that necklace, necklace thing thingy. you lost. It happened some time ago. My navigator and I set sail for this legendary island. When we arrived, we were taken prisoner by cannibals. I escaped, man. But my navigator was not so lucky. All I found of him was one of his eyeballs. Oh. And I've kept it as a good luck charm. Oh, man, that's creepy. I think I met your friend. Was that from the first one, the navigator? Gee, I think I've met your friend. Unlikely. Come on, okay, I gotta go. I gotta run. Lots of treasure hunting to do. Okay. Bye, man. Bye. Come again. Lago is called Lago, just that they could, just so they could soar, <laughs> say, Lago's embargo. I respect that. Um, probably, yeah. <laughs> they probably went out their way for that, yeah. It's season 13, episode 16. Oh, maybe I've not seen season 13. I think I'm up to season 12. There's a lot of episodes. We need this stick. I came back special for it. He was up to his eyeballs in trouble. Oh, monkey. He certainly had a lot of eyeballs. Was, I can't pick that up. Far too many eyeballs in the last season. Can I open and go in here? In the last monkey island. Hmm. This door appears to be locked. There's a really... In my opinion, there's a grosser scene in this game. More gross than the head and the eyeballs. But it's a different kind of gross. Um, right, I think I know how to get the thread one. We need to, um, I need to get my inventory ready. If I go in here, if we put the bucket of mud on the door, um, with the door. It doesn't seem to stay closed. And then we have. I think I hear Largo coming. Hey, what the hell? What's going on? Whoever did this is gonna pay. I can't get this thing off my head. When I get this thing off my head, somebody's gonna be real sorry. Maybe I shouldn't have done that. He looked pretty steamed. Nah, 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 we, we need to that. Also, we need this toupee. Ew. Brody! Ew. Right, what else do we need? We needed the thread, the spit, the head, we have that, and the bow. We're doing good, right? One, two, great. So, I can't remember exactly. We need to get his ticket. You're making me mad, Marty. That's my name, don't wear it out. Look. I want it free, and I want it tonight! Party tonight? Sure, I'll come. I'm talking <laughs> about getting my laundry! Don't worry about me. I've been dry for three years. I said, 
I need it back tonight. What? Yeah, we'll stay out all night. This is useless. You tell them I'll be back to pick it up. Or else. This guy. Uh, I'll try. Marty, um, I'd like to pick up some I'd like clothes. to pick up some clothes. You have your claim ticket, Sonny. No. Mom threw it out when she cleaned my room. Mom threw it out when she cleaned my room. What? You beat your mom with a broom? You should treat her better than that. No, I didn't beat mom with a broom. I'd like to pick up some clothes. You have your claim ticket, Sonny? No! No, I don't have my claim ticket. You don't have to shout at me. I can hear you. But I can't give you your clothes without a claim ticket. Okay. Oops. I thought I wanted to talk to you, but I don't. I think I'm too clumsy to hold the stick and tie a knot at the same time. Really? That doesn't seem to work. Nice. What? What do you mean nice? Open. Okay. Oh, I see where this is going. Cheese squiggles in the box. Go over here. Now we have a trap of rocks for some reason. It won't fit in my pocket. Why do I have the rock? I have a rock nut though. Cute little fella. What shall we name him? Melissa, you'll like him. You like rats. Oh no, hang on, was that Lady P? Boof, actually, wasn't it? I think it was Boof. I don't mind, he lured me with dinner at the start of our relationship, then it just went on. Well, he initiated it, I guess. What are you, a cat, Melissa? She's like that cat lady out of... Oh god, what was that weird game you played, Ash? But there was a lady as a cat in the apartment. Feed one so you just keep coming back. <laughs> Why do you think we were full for men? Seriously, I learned to cook. The head was more creepy. You don't know what the creepy thing is that I that I was gonna show you. We haven't come to it yet. It's just more gross than creepy, I guess. Yeah, I see what you mean. Well, let's see if there was a ticket. So he left it in his room? How are we so... Largo could be back any minute. Messy, messy, messy. Ready for Mr. Legrand. And also take on your share of I the know it's here tools. somewhere. I saw it a while ago. Now, where was it? <laughs> Directly ah, in the parish in the comes. peg leg. What? A what? <laughs> what? Nice April fresh scent. Well, if you say so. Oh, and while we're here, we'll go in and get Wally's, uh... Hello. 
when he puts his little eyeglass down. I think that's what the, um... What? Hey, where's my monocle? I can't see a thing without me monocle. Sorry, Wally. Needs must. I think that's what Captain Dread wants. His eyeball for the sea. It's not about being perfect, it's just about caring. Exactly. Absolutely. I always look forward to Friday 6 p.m. All week. Date night. That was dinner night. Used to go over on Fridays to have dinner at, uh, at Andy's. Oh, God. Clicked off the game. Sorry, guys. Why not have a rat? Call him Nibbles. Done. Sorry, I'm a little behind. So in my previous job, there was a rat, st a rat stealing food. I called him Frazzles because I love Frazzles making crisps. <laughs> Why? <laughs> Why? Frazzles. Do you want to call him Frazzles or do you want to call him Nibbles? <laughs> so on Saturday, I returned the favour and I used to drive him around the grocery, grocery shopping and such because he still hates driving. There you go. That's how it works for you guys. Man boobs, I guess. He doesn't look like the kind of guy to have man boobs, but I mean, there you go. Also, he wasn't interested in me anyway. I had to wear him down for months. Ah, that's a true love story right there, Melissa. Thief! Hi, Red! How are you doing? How goes it? How's your weekend? Stealing from the blind? Hello. He's not... Uh, I don't think he's blind. He's just deaf. He's just deaf. Maybe blind? <laughs> Who knows? He was definitely deaf. I think he just had big glasses. I like cooking, I just don't. Gotta do it more. Yes, Joel, definitely do it more. No, the, no, the rat loved frazzles. Ah, you hate frazzles? You hate frazzles? I love frazzles. I prefer onion rings. Have you brought though. me any more ingredients? All of them? You'll be pleased to know. You're shattered. That's right. You've been, you've been out, you've been busy this weekend LARPing, right? I have his toupee. Hmm, not quite a part of his head, but maybe I can get some scalp fragments from it. Have you brought me any other ingredients? I have the bone of his grandfather. Perfect. Do you have the final ingredient? I have this pearly white bra. Yes, that will work. At last. She knows he has man boobs, now apparently. I can make a voodoo doll to be reckoned with. Let me get my juju bag. Juju bag. And now for the ingredients. A dandruff flake from Largo's head. A single piece of Largo's thread. A drop of fluid from his body. A single chip off the bone of the dead. And finally, some miscellaneous voodoo herbs and seasonings, including monosodium glutamate. This ought to be voodoo good. Voodoo voodoo. Two, four, six, eight. Who do we assassinate? Lago, Lago, yeah. Hey, that looks just like him. Thanks, Voodoo Lady. One more thing. Some of the ingredients were not the optimum specimens. It should still work, but it will have a limited range. You will have to get close to Largo. Very close. Yay! Very close. Okay. Well, we like live in the same town. I think it should be fine. Right? We'll do a save when we get to the shore. Save. Okay. We'll just 
We'll just find him, surely. <laughs> he can't see anything without his mod. Oh, you mean Wally? <laughs> oh. Oh yeah, poor Wally. I know, I do feel quite bad about Wally. He doesn't deserve it, but also I want to ship, so... Alright, where's... He's gonna be in his room, right? I thought you were talking about Marty before, sorry. Okay, so I have to rephrase my last sentence or you get the wrong impression. He wasn't interested in a relationship because it had no future, just a two year fling. So it was a friendship. Oh, I see, because you, yeah, I suppose you were over there temporarily. No, he was over there temporarily. Hey, what are you doing in here? Get out of my room and okay. stay out. Use pins. Oh, for fudge's sake. A man's room is his castle. Yeah. Take that, you stumpy little dim-witted toad! What? Who do you think you are? I'm Guybrush Threepwood. People don't always recognize me. That's why I carry this! I'm gonna tear you limb from limb! Oh, how are you doing that? Largo the Grand, you are a no-good, vicious, two-bit thug. I command you to give me back my money and leave this island. Ha! I already spent all your money. He oh. made quick work well, of that. I command you to leave this island. Just you try and make. I... No! No! I... No! That'll teach you to mess with the slayer of the ghost pirate LeChuck. What's that? You oh. killed LeChuck? As a matter of fact, I did. Quite an interesting story, actually. The fortune teller said she did in LeChuck. She did, did she? Does she have one of these? Is that? Yes, LeChuck's beard. Still alive and wriggling. Let me see that. Boy, it is alive. We've been looking for a living piece of LeChuck for years. Now we can bring it back to life. Look out, world! The most fearsome pirate of all time will soon sail the seas again. Whoops. Why hand it over, Guybrush? Why do it? I'm afraid it's true, Guybrush. If they have any animated tissue, they can reanimate his whole body. But I blew his body into a zillion gooey pieces. Not his body, Guybrush. You destroyed his spirit form. His body was safely buried far away. But by now it must be... Rotten? Partially decomposed? Yes. And I don't think that's going to make him any more pleasant to deal with. He's going to be looking for me. Yes. He's going to try to kill me. Undoubtedly. Okay, so... What can we do? What can I do? You're already doing all that you can. What's that? Hunting for Big Whoop. Oh, yeah, I was doing that, wasn't I? Big Whoop isn't just a treasure. It contains the secret to another world. Find that world, and you'll be able to escape LeChuck forever. But I know so little about Big Whoop. Take this book. Big Whoop, unclaimed bonanza or myth? And where'd you get this? I checked it out at the Fat City Library. How do I look foresaw at those your need. Gee, thanks. I used your name when I checked it out, so be sure and return it when you're through reading. The overdue fines in Fat City are pretty steep. Gee, thanks. I don't know how to look at the concept art. <laughs> why are the fans? No one's gonna go in there, that's why. <laughs> Who knows it's safe? No one's gonna go in there. Why stuff the beard into his undies? It's disgusting, but, like I said, no one's gonna go in there. Okay, no reason to be hanging around here. Poor Wally's still looking for that monocle. Only feeling a tiny bit bad about it, but let's leave. Daniel, hi, how are you doing? How's your, how's your Sunday going? Okay. 
What kinky stuff is that? Is what? Oh, the beard in the pants, etc. Don't ask. Pirates do weird stuff. I didn't even realize that um, Luchuk had like a crew that adored him in the first um, in the first game. He just killed a, a a ship crew that he first came across. Would you like my monocle? Thanks, man. This'll do just fine for me lucky sailing necklace. What can I do for ya? Charter I need ship? to charter a ship. You're in luck, my friend. Rumor has it that Lago's been run off the island. So I'm now free to sail again. Only problem is that you don't look like the type that has 20 pieces of eight. Yeah, you're right. I'm broke. Oh. Well, okay. We need 20 pieces of eight. I don't remember it now. I don't remember what I need to do. I remember in the bar, there's a monkey. that guy's soup the kitchen soup we put the rat in there I think smell up Andy's soup good thing this is a cold soup um can we get out this way yeah poor poor nibbles he's loving it right now bartender Oh, and then he could give us a job, and we'll get 20 pieces of eight, right? Excuse me. Yeah, boy? Largo the Grand has left Scab Island for good. Well, well, I guess all those laxatives I was slipping into his drinks finally got to him. What? Don't worry, I don't put him in all the drinks. Uh, so, the stew? Hey, uh, how's the stew tonight? Stew? How oh, goats. We only serve gourmet chilled soups here. In fact, our new cook has been working all day on a very special Vichy Soise. Let me go see how he's doing. Be right back, Pokemon Braid. No worries. Oh, so Bet that rat is happy at least. Excellent, sir. Won't you have a taste? Oh, I think I will. Oh my god! What kind of demented recipe book are you using? <laughs> <laughs> You're fired! But, sir... Out! Get out of my sight! This is the most disgusting, filthy mess I've ever seen in my life! Look at all the hair! And what's this stuff? How am I ever gonna get rid of this junk? Well, here's your soap. Uh, I'm really not that hungry anymore. Dang. Hey, can you cook? A little. How'd you like a career in the fast-paced world of pub food cuisine? Are you saying there's an opening in the kitchen? Yeah. You interested? For 20 pieces of eight, I am. How much does it pay? I don't know. How much does it pay? 420 pieces of eight a week. First week paid in advance. Okay. Yep. Sure, I'll give it a shot. Great. Job is yours. Here's a week's worth of wages. Now go strap on that apron and get to work. Okie dokie. Nice. 421 pieces of eight. Exactly. Okay, and let's go. Sneaky guy brush. See, I knew we'd get this. It's weird to be paid in advance. I know, right? It feels like home again. <laughs> Do you get told off when you go into the kitchen? 
when you've come to inquire <laughs> about what's for tea. Who else has problems with hair clogging up the drain? <sighs> Me. <laughs> Me all the time. <laughs> you did when it was long. Yeah, it just it gets, gets entwined. Captain Dredd! Again. So I see. What can I do for you this time on? I want a ship. I need to charter a ship. You're in luck, my friend. Rumor has it that Lago's been run off the island, so I'm now free to sail again. Only problem is that you don't look like the type that has 20 pieces of eight. You'd be wrong. Actually, I do have that much. Well, man, consider me ship chartered. Great. Where's your ship? You're standing in it, man. Yikes. <laughs> I think that went by pretty painless. Deep in the Caribbean, I like the hidden four by an four endless storm, past. lies LeChuck's Fortress. So, when are we gonna resurrect the old bloated fool? Oops. I'll ignore that comment just this one time, Largo. Only because they tell me you found Guybrush Threakwood. It's Threepwood, and I found him on Scab Island. Very good. No one gets the upper hand on the Chuck without getting what he deserves. I want Guybrush brought to me, and I want him brought alive. I am entrusting this to you. Do not fail me. Never, your voodoo lordship. Aye. Guybrush Threepwood is finished. I need you to start building me a very special doll. With pleasure. I'm off to find Big One. How it show? Oh, he just took the whole bag. Okay, I put his gonna take a handful. Nope, nope, he needs all of it. Okay. Is this part in, is this game in four parts like the first? It's in parts, I don't know whether it's four. I can't remember. Welcome to the Jolly Rasta. Where do you want to go? But, uh, possibly is the answer. When I dry my hair with the hairdryer over the sink, it also leaves a mess with long hair. I'm a horrible woman. My hair is literally scattered everywhere. It's just, I, I don't know. It just, why doesn't it stay in? Also, not to mention that I leave all towels to gravity. <gasps> Me too. I do that. Yeah. And that is, that is quite bad. You should put it on the banister or the radiator or something, and I don't. And I leave mine like just like over chairs, on the bed, on my rug. <laughs> it's really bad. Okay, I don't know, what are my choices? Would you like to cruise aimlessly for a while? I don't know, what are my choices? I only know how to get to Tree Islands, man. What are they? There's where we just came from, Scab Island, the only island where pirates are free to be pirates. Then there's Booty Island, the festive French Mardi Gras party all the time island. It's run by one of the most respected and loved governors around, Governor Elaine Marley. Hey. And last, there is Fat Island, a fascist dictatorship run by an overbloated pig named Governor Fat. Here. Take this easy to read reference map, courtesy of Dread Tours. You can Thanks, use Dread. it to show me where you want to go. He knows three islands, okay. <laughs> Scab, fat, and booty. Let's go to booty, let's go to our bay. You're meant to do something else with towels? Well, I've heard Rumi is supposed to hang them up so they dry, but <laughs> what's the point of that? Not to mention I hate wet hair. It's just a horror, so I use many towels. I actually, like, I'll I'll have my hair in a towel out the shower and I will leave it in the 
in the towel for a while and then I sort of sort of eventually take it off and just leave my hair to dry naturally unless it's bedtime and then it's like quick hair dryer I feel good about myself I clean the bathroom after I'm done oh Ash you're such a good boy I don't shame on me I know shame on me I'm a terrible person Booty Island, where our lover is. Parrot. Got Pegleg, we got Saw, beware the parrot. Ship's horn. We got a lot of goodies. Map piece. That's part of the Big Whoop treasure map. I don't know a lot about the piece, but there's supposed to be a book in the library that tells all about the whole map. How, much, How much is the map piece? The map piece is made of authentic parchment from the turn of the century. Can't find things like that anymore. Yeah, but how much is it? Oh, about six million pieces of eight. Uh, I don't think I have that much to spend. <laughs> well, I do what? have some nice fake maps for less. No, thanks. Uh, do you take credit? Do you take credit? Yeah, like you have one. But I do accept personal checks or trade-ins. Sorry, hang on. What kind of trade-ins do you accept? I'll take most old swords, some used parrots, almost anything valuable made of bronze, and a few old ship parts. Would you give me the map piece for any of those things? No, but there's one thing I might trade for the map piece. Uh, that would be... What would you trade for the map piece? There was a certain ship that sunk, and I'd really like the figurehead. I'd give you the map if you got the figurehead for me. Can you tell me about the ship with the figurehead? The ship was a huge galleon named the Mad Monkey. Nobody knows where it sank or why, but the figurehead is supposed to be the most fabulous piece of art ever. That's why I want it. I'm a collector of fine art, as I'm sure you can see. Oh, yeah. Okay. Nice shop you got here. Thanks. I pride myself on the quality of my merchandise. I only sell the finest of pirate memorabilia. Even the trade-ins are first class. And I always make you the best deals. How can you afford to do that? Volume! If you leave your hair in the towel, it gets unmanageable, and I look like a clown. As in frizzy, <laughs> you mean? You got curly hair. I have to comb it and dry it with hot air. Not curly, just tends to walk. I guess I'm pretty okay with my hair. Like I, mine just, mine's just really. I guess I just have like, uh, what, what would you call it? Um, thin hair. <laughs> I don't know. Like my hair is fine, fine. <laughs> I have fine hair. So it just sort of dries straight, and that's that. I have to go now. Mr. Polly likes that mirror. Yeah, he seems to be in love with his reflection. So when my hair was long, I dried it with a towel and immediately combed it. I couldn't touch it for two hours or lay down or it will go everywhere. Yeah, I don't care so much. <laughs> I sort of like put it in um, like a bun and just like stick it to my head. <laughs> I do all sorts of my... I guess I'm kind of lucky that way. Pretty bird. Is that it? Pretty bird. Cutie. Can we... I don't want to push him. 
Use parrot? Hey! Don't do that to my parrot. Sorry. God. It was touchy about that. Ship's horn. That's a real ship's horn, just like the ones used on modern ships. Okay. It says, beware of parrot. He doesn't have anything to say about that one, though. Found that beauty at the bottom of the sea. She cleaned up real nicely, though. Okay. It was handmade by a good friend of mine from another island. Oh, that'll be the wood, the, the woodsmith that we just saw. Yeah. So, and if I don't do it right, I gotta rewash it and do it again a few hours later. Oh wow, okay. I I would just live with my mistake <laughs> if, I, if my hair got that bad. May our kids get his hair. Your hair gets charged easy, easily. So do you get that like, um, you know where it like sort of, if you put your hand next to it, it frays out. What's that called? Electrostat yeah, electrostatic charge. And when it sticks everywhere. That's so annoying, I hate that. You got thin hair, I guess, Melissa. You have super thick. See, I always think I'd like somewhere in between, please. Indy's whip, Indy's whip, TM. That's the real thing, as seen in Raiders, Temple, Holy Grail, and the Young Chronicles. Really? Gross skulls. Those are authentic scale reproductions of rotting skulls rendered in sun-bleached whalebone. There's even some loose skin to hang them up from. There's even some loose skin? Oh, goodness. You'd look good in one of those. And they're great for parties. Rock and roll collector plates. That collectible plate is worth a mint. Wow. I knew those would be valuable one day. <laughs> eye patches. I have an eye patch in every shape. Eye shape? Oh, okay. I have to go now. I thought I could talk about some of the things I saw, but no, no, I could not. <laughs> so sometimes I'm so much shape when my hair doesn't behave as it should, then hubby dries it with the patience of a saint. Oh, <laughs> your husband sounds so sweet. Thin and brittle, yes, yeah. I've got, I've got the thin. It's, well, it's not that brittle. It's okay, my hair, but um, definitely thin. Can't do anything with it. It doesn't like style well because it just hasn't got the volume to hold it. I'm eating my cake. <laughs> it's my birthday cake. I'm allowed it. Random guy. Hi. How are you doing? How's it going? I can't stay. I uh, just wanted to say, wish you a happy birthday. Oh, thank you so much. Thank you for popping by. Have fun, everyone. Thank you. Sorry. <laughs> oh, it's really nice. <gasps> it's got stuff inside. It's like got jam inside. It's jamming. The mink rope from your hair. <laughs> You'd be good to be stranded on an island with them. You clean up after yourself, you can cook okay, and you can make your own rope. <laughs> There's a little bit too much icing on this. Oh god. It's going everywhere. No, it's the only way to shut you off. Still sweet though. <laughs> Some guys wouldn't do it no matter what. Hi, 
And there are red velvet cupcakes too. You know what? I've never had a red velvet cupcake ever. Or cake. Ever. Don't know what it tastes like. Taste of red? Not sure. <laughs> <laughs> Look at that face. <laughs> she nibbles cake so happy. Oh, yeah. Cake makes me happy. <laughs> Red velvet cakes sound delicious. I've never tried one, Steph. Never tried one. Does it taste different than normal cake? And it's gone in under 60 seconds. Oh, yeah. Yeah, it doesn't last long. Really do with a. I wonder if I'm. If someone, maybe watching the stream, would like to get me a drink of maybe some diet lemonade. Maybe. Sunken galleons. Three hour tours. Hi, I'm Guybrush. Hi, my name's Guybrush. I'm Captain Kate Capsize. Like to charter a ship? I do weddings, funerals, bar mitzvahs, you name it. Um, can I have one of them? Could I have one of those leaflets? Yeah, okay. Uh, I'm interested in going to the ship. Uh, no, we've got nowhere to go. I already have a ship. I'm searching for the treasure of Big Whoop. Yeah? When I was the first maid on the Limping Limpet, we went in search of Big Whoop. We'd heard it was buried under a place called Blinky Island. Never found the island or the treasure. The captain eventually died of boredom while we were crossing the Sea of Beige Flotsam. I hope your luck is better. So I have Blinky, Inky, and Drinky Island. We could all have them. Okay, I remember I'm late for a party. I just remembered I'm late for a you party. You and everyone else on this island. You and everybody else on this island. If you need a ship, you know where to find me. Three oh. hour tours. I wasn't even sure she Check was going to say that. Check but it it's just so ingrained in me. Last day before I leave for Stan's Fat Island. Stan's previously owned coffins. See oh, the Stan. world. Good Three old Stan. Three hour tours. Howdy. Welcome to Stan's previously owned coffins. We handle the dead for a lot less bread. What are you looking for, son? Need a bin for your next of kin? Want a family plot without spending a lot? You're in luck. Just look at all this quality merchandise. Never before touched by a living soul. Most of it used only for a few hours. Premature burial, you know. That sort of thing. Well, speak up. Or are you dead? Either way, you came to the right place. Didn't you used for you sales? You used for ship salesman? That red velvet is quite nice. And as velvet suggests, I just don't know what to expect with it. I don't know. Didn't you used to be a used ship salesman? Well, yeah. But I decided to get into a business where unsatisfied customers are less likely to come back and complain. Good thinking. Do you do funerals? Do you do funerals? Of course we do funerals! And not just those somber, all-black, three-handkerchief affairs. We do it in a rowdy Mardi Gras style with music and dancing and pallbearer races. I'd like to say we put the fun in funerals. <laughs> Good one, Stan. Do you get it? Do you get it, guys? Funerals. You heard a rash. Go get the <laughs> lemonade. I'd also like some lemongrass tea. Lemongrass tea? Ugh. I like fruity teas, but then once you start putting plants inside of it, inside the fruits, I'm like... You really put me off. Like, I don't want to eat, eat, drink nettle tea, things like that. Um, it's like, whatever. I've only said nice things today. She deserves it. I'll be there in two, three hours. Whoa. <laughs> That's a <laughs> Thank you. We've got a, oh, what's he called? Um, Murray. We have a Murray mug. Hang on, I don't know if you guys can see. It's a 
skull? Yeah. Can you see that? <laughs> we have a marine mug. He did bring a collection of cupcakes as well. Sprite or seven up. Um Eva? This is just Morrison's half a plane. Joel being such a bro, nice one. That's why everyone likes him. Uh, actually, I'm not actually in the market for a coffin yet, Stan. Thank you, though. Oh, hang on, we can. <laughs> we can do it and get this key, can't we? Uh, I'm looking for a, good, looking used for a good used coffin. Amazing! When you first walked in here, I said, now there's a guy who needs a good used coffin. There happens to be an excellent deal right behind you. Let's go take a look see. <laughs> Did you imagine me? Now this here is the Cadillac of coffins. You say so. Look at all that leg room. There's room in there for Long John Silver himself. Here, let me get in and show you. Yes, a man can really rest in peace and comfort with one of these. Bye now. <laughs> Hi, Stan. I just remembered we need a uh, hammer and nails, which we don't Sight have. Sightseeing. <laughs> Last so, day no before point. I leave for Fat Island. Okay, now who's gonna be next? Hey! It's a great day for spitting. A spitting contest. Just look at this juicy crowd. We don't have our spitting Step juice. Step up to the line and test your swill. Hey, spit master. Valuable prizes. Hey. We'll, we'll, me, we'll have me. a go. I'll give it a try. A volunteer! All right, settle down, folks. This kid looks like a serious contender. What's your name, boy? Oh, God. They call me the Phlegm Master. <laughs> oh, well, they call me the Phlegm Master. The Phlegmster. Phlegmster. The, <laughs> the Master of Phlegm. Spit away! <laughs> All right, Flim Master! <laughs> Let's go! That's a little fussy. Spit! Oh. <laughs> misfire, misfire! Everybody run! <laughs> well, so much for the Flim Master. Let's give him a big hand anyway, folks. At least he tried. <laughs> Even a child can do it. Obviously not. Come on. It's all paid guy, for by Pretty Island Parks <laughs> and Rec. Tried. Check it out. Check it out. Three-hour tours. Old man. Hello Who's there. <laughs> Sorry, son. Didn't have my horn out. Could you say that again? I said, hello, dear. My name's Freightwood. Keep my brother. He's all right, isn't he? He's okay. Now you know how my life is every day. Do you just, do you just yell? Do you just call out and it comes to you on a platter? With a selection of snacks. So I just need to train him to feed you as well, pigs. Maybe one day. One day. I can actually feed myself. I said hello there. My name's Threepwood. Oh, why, hello there, Threepwood. You in town for Mardi Gras? I guess so, yeah. Oh, actually, no, I'm a, I'm a treasure hunt. <laughs> if it's a party, I'm there. Hey, if it's a party, I'm there. Well, if it's a party you're looking for, I hear Governor Marley is having some super shindig up at her mansion. Molly. That's funny, I used to date Governor Molly. Marley? Huh, that's funny. I used to date a Governor Marley. Oh, sure. And I'll bet you helped her beat LeChuck, too. <laughs> no, I beat him all by myself. No, I beat him all by myself. Hey, hey, kid, it's okay. Mardi Gras is the time for fantasy. Now just run along and enjoy yourself. 
So on Scab Island, the voodoo lady took credit for killing LeChuck. And on Booty Island, Mo Governor Molly has taken the credit for it. Poor Guybrush, he gets nothing. How about a vomit dodge contest next? Oh, you're on your own there, Melissa. You can have that one. You can have that. <laughs> I do not train well. I'd pee on my last handler. Lovely. Yeah, okay. I'm not going to try and attempt to feed him. Not feed him. Train him. Big tree. Big ass tree. Do we have anything to go in there? Um, probably not. That stick's not gonna work, right? That doesn't seem to work. Yeah, I didn't think so. Okay, outhouse. Is that open? Hell yeah. What's in there? Just an outhouse, I guess. Uh, yeah. <laughs> Look. I said, look. How rustic. Is that why Pix wears boots instead of shoes now? Yeah. It's just more practical. Question. Do you guys have normal sized mugs and glasses? Or are you really tiny people? I am slightly on the midget size. However, we do have really... This is big. This is quite big. This is like my mug from before as well. These are big sizes. This is kind of like pint size. Pint is the smallest size, right? Certainly for me. If someone gives me a drink and they give me, you know, sometimes they get that like little, little tumbler that's like this big. And I'm like, what is, why? Like, I could just drink that all in one go. You know how fast I, I eat. I drink just as quickly. I'm like, that's not even going to touch the sides. Get me a pint glass now. The la, 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 chuck ah, The ghost pirate la chuck Get a grip. Don't you know a Mardi Gras costume when you see one? Is there something I can help you with? He's like, and I peed myself. <laughs> that a loo? That is... That's an outhouse toilet, yes. Um, nice costume. Scared me to death. What are you guarding? Uh, nice costume. Almost scared me to death. Thanks. Where's your costume for the governor's party? Um, I don't have one. I'm here for the governor's party. You mean Governor Marley's Mardi Gras fish fry? It's invitation only and costumes are required. Oh. I don't have an invitation. I don't have an invitation. Then you can't go past me. Okay. Mm, gotta go. Keep up the good work. Okay then. <clears throat> well, uh, <laughs> there's not much we can do here. Okay. Five eight's not a midget. Five ten with heels. That oh is my <gasps> glab. Oh my glab. At six one one. Thank you so Where much you want to go? for that follow. How goes it? Super appreciated. Let's go to Fat Island. I don't know if we can do anything here. Super appreciate that follow. Thank you so much. Hope you're having a great time. That's not tiny. No, I'm 5'4". Let's put it into perspective. I went over to my mom today and my 12 year old sister, me and my brother learned today that she's taller than me now. She's taller than me. And she wears the same size clothes and has the same size feet. So, there you go. She's overtaken me. Thankfully, the other sister is 
like ridiculously small. She is an actual midget, so hopefully she'll stay smaller than me. Oh! Excuse me, sir. Yes? Aren't you Guybrush Threepwood? No, no, no. He has a mustache. I think you're mistaken. <laughs> Why does he need an invitation? Doesn't he have a hickey? He was not invited, Melissa? Uh, that's right, I'm the man who's watched the ghost pirate that chucks some buttons. Who wants to know? No, my name's Smith. You must have been with you or someone else. <laughs> Oh, my name is Smith. You must have me confused with someone else. Smith, eh? That's an unusual name. Perhaps you have some identification? I left it in my other pants. Oh, look. There's a three-headed monkey. <laughs> look behind you. A three-headed monkey. Nice try, Guybrush. Damn it. You'd better come with me. Governor Fat would like a word with you. All right. All right. I'll come with you. Oh. <laughs> nice try, Gabbridge. Nice try. Nice try. He had to. He had to have it, give it a go. <laughs> well, Mister. This guy. Oh, this guy. This is what's gross. Me. You. Uh... Well, Mister Threepwood, I can't tell you how pleased I am to have you here as my guest. He's so gross. You can share clothes pics. Uh, actually, we went shopping the other day and we both bought the same jumper. <laughs> so. so, yeah, we could. Oh? Why is that? I thought we might talk about a few things. Which is why there's a wanted poster on the wharf with my picture on it? Such as your future, Mr. Threepwood, and that of the ghost pirate, LeChuck. LeChuck's dead. I killed him. Perhaps you didn't kill him quite so thoroughly as you imagined. He looked perfectly healthy the last time I saw him. Last time you saw him? Oh no, LeChuck's back. I beg your pardon, did you say something? You. I took care of the truck once. I could do it again. He doesn't scare me, just tell me where I can find him. He doesn't scare me. Just tell me where I can find him. I rather think he'll find you, Mr. Threepwood. You see, he's put a sizable bounty on your head. Oh? A bounty I intend to collect. Oh. oh. <laughs> oh. <laughs> I guess that bounty would buy a lot of bacon grease and pure fat, huh? <laughs> oh I guess God. that bounty would buy a lot of bacon grease and pure fat, huh? <laughs> Why, you... You can figure it out while you wait in jail for LeChuck to pick you up. Take him away. Yes, sir, Governor Fat. Come on, you little weasel. Oh, isn't he so gross? Look at the, 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 the pipe and it goes, oh god. I'll be back. Come on. He's minging. He's so drunk. Don't try to escape or anything. Walt will chew you to bits. Oh, Walt. Okay, Walt. I'll be back to relieve you at 11. Walt. Come here, baby. Come here. Come here. <laughs> what a ferocious looking dog. Yeah, I know, right? Look how cute he is. Is that guys don't like tall women? Not all men. <laughs> ah, that's true. You think tall ladies are cool? Tall ladies are cool. They look nice in dresses for a start. I look stumpy. I wish I was tall. I'm the shortest in my family. That's almost true for me, Steph. <laughs> Just, just the nine-year-old, but she'll probably catch up with me. How tall are you, Steph? Women have a hang-up about short men, though. Not all women. Is 
But so you guys, tell me you'd you'd go out with a woman one foot taller than you. I can't answer that. I'm not a man. <laughs> he looks lovely, low maintenance. He is disgusting. Stick! Watch me flip it right into my pocket. They don't call me the Bone Master for nothing. He's a cute doggo. Look at him. Look how cute he is. Speak to him. Hello, little doggy. Hey. Hello, little doggy. Cute. Dog. You doggy doggy. Here, boy. Come here, Walt. Come here. Switch. I'll swap you. Swap you. Good boy. You don't have to work till 11. Don't you worry. Another flawless escape. People can be called tall or short. That's right. He's gonna chase you down. Hell no, I'll get away no matter what. Pick up both of these. They're mine now. Mr. Willie Gorilla, arrested for grinding his organ in public. Oh, is that that guy? <laughs> Um, There's a banana in here and an organ. No monkey? Hey, that tickles. <laughs> that tickles. Oh, there's that lady. Capsized charters. Glass bottom boat for sightseeing or special interest voyages. There's a picture of her on it. Okay, cool. Now we've got that and a banana. Cute doggo! I know, poor Walt, he's not around anymore now though. That's the last we ever saw of Walt. Alleyway. No more bets? Okay, here we go. <laughs> Six red. All right. You're a winner, sir. Which prize would you like? What you got left? We have money, an invitation to Governor Marley's Mardi Gras party, and a three-day vacation on fabulous Hook Island. I'd like the money. The money it is. We need that invitation. And the money. All you have to do is watch the wheel go round. Hello. How you doing? Do many other people come to play here? Lots of people come to play when we've got a bunch of prizes. But we're almost out today. We only have three left. Speaking of dogs, <laughs> sorry, speaking of dogs, what's the necklace? I just remembered, I don't gamble. Why not? You could win big. Come back if you change your mind. Mm -hmm. Excuse me, pal. What's the necklace? I want to make another bet. I'll show you guys. 16 red. 16 red it is. Right, I don't know if you can see. God, I can't see myself. It's, um... Can you see? It's like a ship in a bottle with a... With a Kraken thing taking it down. Sorry, I was like blocking myself from it. Red. Did you guys see that? All right, you win again. Today is your lucky day. All right. Would you like money again? Also, it, it, yeah. it wasn't a dog. <laughs> Hi, Halsey Pack. <laughs> You're back. Welcome back. I'm wow. Well, because I was in jail, I managed money. to find myself in jail again. Care to make a bet? What 
What's he doing right there? Give me the next number. Please give me the password. If this is three, what's this? Four. Right. The winning number will be ten red. Thanks. Okay. <clears throat> Like, Melissa, I'm six foot six. A tall girl wouldn't face me one bit, even one taller than me. Six foot six? Oh my goodness, you're tall. I'll knock. Don't know if there's many girls taller kid? than you. I want to know what the next number will be. What's the next winning number? Who are you and what are you doing back there? I'm selling these fine leather jackets. Have you ever heard of the legend of the mighty guy brush? Okay, what's the what's next number? What's the next winning number going to be? Voice, give me the password. You have to get it right three times. That guy didn't. If this is four, what's this? Rude. For a start, it's five. Five? Okay, that's one right. Two more. If this is five, what's this? Two. Two? That's two. One more. If this is two, what's this? Four. Four? Okay, you must be a member of the Gamblers Club. That's right, I am. But I don't recognize you. I've been out of town. I was like, what? You don't remember me? <laughs> no, I transferred here today. New orders. <laughs> what? <laughs> no, I was transferred here today. New orders. What? Um, sorry. I had a flashback there. What I meant was that I just joined today. Oh, okay. The winning number will be 14 black. 14 black. Fucking black. You don't want that money no back. No more bets. Okay, no here it. we go. Hi, hey. I never got to do my my turn. Hi, how are you doing? How's it going? You got nice necklaces. Thank Ten you, Melissa. Red. All right. Oh God, what You'll was it? Fourteen black. Again. Shit. Today is your Guys, what was it? What was it? All right. Would you like money again? Yeah. It's pants money. What is it with people wanting pants? I like think pants? that's enough for me today. Okay, Ralphie. See you tomorrow. Melissa, was it fourteen red? Fourteen black. Big prizes for just one piece of eight. Ten red. Care Wasn't to that make what a he bet? just did? Oh, I need to go. I need to go to the Care guy to now. make a bet? I need to go back to the guy. I, 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 I can't remember. And I think he took my my turn. Fourteen black. It was fourteen what black. What do you want? I already told you that the number would be fourteen black. And I only fix one game at a time. Okay. It's 14... Shit. 14 black. It was 14 black. I doubted myself. It's that interesting necklace. because I think you have a few like that, don't you? I do. I do. It's, I love these necklaces. They're from the same woman. She has like an Etsy shop. It's called Birch, please. Uh, they're really cool. Bless your best, go, check, please. go check it out, definitely. I like to place I'd a bet. like to place a bet. Betting costs money, kid. Okay, one piece right. of eight for one game. Oh, yeah. Here. One piece of eight? Okay, That's kid. That's really good. Which number you want? 14 black. I'd like 14 black. Okay, here we go. The fuck kind of number system is that? It's um, whatever number he shows you originally. So if he's like... If this is five, what is this? It was four. It's always the original number he shows you. Fourteen black. You're a winner, kid. Which of our fabulous prizes do you want? Take oh, the invitation, your pick. The invitation. You can have sixty pieces of eight, or you can have the invitation to Governor Marley's Mardi Gras party, or you can have a three-day vacation on invitation, fabulous invitation, invitation. Cook Island. Well, invitation. which will it be? I'd love to have the invitation. He wants the invitation. And the money. 
Congratulations. Thanks. Place your bets, please. I'm gonna go get another number. Big I'll be prizes back. for just one piece of eight. You're trying to decide what to buy in the spring Xbox sale. What are you thinking, Falcon? What do you think you're going with? So it's super easy to get you a present. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, like literally all of them there I like. There's there's a lot. There's a, like, they do woodland animal ones, and there's a fox one that I want, and oh, a wolf one, and there's flower ones. I like all the flower ones. I have one of them. I've got a cherry blossom one, and they have um, like sea animal ones. They got a narwhal I want, and like a manatee one. They do octop like the octopus in here. They do big octopuses. They're really nice. I really like them. What do you want, kid? And also, I had like you know the Oh My Glob necklace. They have like tons of those, all different things. What's the next number? What's the next winning number gonna be? Voice, give me the password. If this is four, what's this? So that's five. Five. Right. The winning number will be twelve black. Well, like, like. I only, we only figured that number system out after a long process of elimination. <laughs> Big prizes for just one piece of eight. Oh god, what was it? Shit, I've already forgotten. Care to make another bet? I'd like to place another bet. Here's one piece of eight. Okay, kid, which number you want? Twelve black. I'd like twelve black. Okay, here we go. It's almost every game on the Xbox. <laughs> almost every game. Okay, what's the top three at least? <laughs> you can add the invitation for a kiss. You think? Well, Black, you're a winner, kid. Whee! Which of our fabulous prizes do you want? Take your pick. You can have 60 pieces of eight or you can have a three-day vacation on fabulous Hook Island. Well, which will it be? Money, money, money! Give me the money! Hook Island he is um, the money. where the where meat hooks from, right? Well, I just I'm out of that. money for today. You're lucky that you won the last of it. Congratulations! Thank you. Care to make another bet? You can't win if you don't play. I'll be back. I'll be right back. So I get in Timefall 2 and Death of the Outsider so far. But there are many games that are must plays. What else have we what what else you you got kid? there, Falcon, that you fancy? What's the next winning number going to be? Voice, give me the password. If this is five, what's this? One. One? Right. The winning number will be 19 black. Let's go. Nineteen black, nineteen black, nineteen black, nineteen black. All you have to do is watch the wheel go round. I'd like to place another bet. Here's one piece of eight. Okay, kid, which number you want? I'd like 19 black. Very, okay, here we very go. Very black centric on the um, board today. Get the vacation, Lane wants it. That's what we're getting, we're getting all of it. I'm clearing this guy out. 19 black. You're a winner, kid. We can take it Your there choice on a, is easy uh, this time. A honeymoon, you can have maybe? a three-day vacation on fabulous Hook Island. Congratulations! Thanks. Well, that's it for me. We're out of money and prizes. We'll be closing soon. Thanks to everybody for playing. Can't we play again? I want to win some more. Well, no. Oh, come on. Hey, what's that behind you? What? Where? Hey! Hmm. 
made his exit. He is like, no. Spa day is another great present for all you guys in chat. Spa day will be great. I have never had a massage. I would love a massage. Okie dokie. So, library's closed. I am sure there's a guy here. We need to go into the library as well. What do we have to do in the library? A lot of... Uh, there's a massive cat catalogue. Caught anything yet? Are you kidding? I reached my limit hours ago. My name is Guybrush Threepwood, mighty fisherman. I'm Guybrush Threepwood, a mighty fisherman. Oh, you are, are you? No, you don't like the spa? I like the spa. I'm the best fisherman in these aisles. I'm also the man who caught the notorious LeChuck. I'm also the man who caught the notorious LeChuck. Yeah, right. If you fish as poorly as you lie, you don't even deserve to be talking to me. I am the best fisherman in these aisles, you know. What happens at the spa, it seems nice, but you've never been. You get like massages, and there's like a swimming pool, and there's mud baths, and saunas. It's all relaxing stuff. I think it's like a gym as well. You can go to the gym. And you got like, um, I get facials and things like that too. It's just all good stuff. I mean, I guess blokes won't like it so much. I don't know, some blokes like it. Like, massages are for both people. I mean, both genders. Want to mention we like spa days without guys. Yeah, I would prefer to go without, without a bloke. Why are you going to fish your way out of a paper bag? You can couldn't catch cold in a blizzard. You? Why, you couldn't catch cold in a blizzard. The pike I catch make Pike's Peak look like an anthill. That's why I'm known as the blowfish. You mean blow hard? Ho! Oh. You mean the blow hard? Listen, bait for brains. I'm the best around, and that is that. Not if you're... Not if you're... Hooks are as dull as your wit. Mm. Not if your hooks are as dull as your wit. Perhaps you'd like to make a small wager, eh, Mr. Fisherman? Sure, I'll take your bet. Sure, I'll take your bet. Let me tell you what I had in mind first. If you can catch a bigger fish than I can, I'll give you my prize-winning fishing pole. What's the catch? What's the catch? If I catch a bigger fish than you, you have to eat it. Raw. <laughs> you mean on rice with a little wasabi and soy sauce? Ooh, you mean on rice with a little wasabi and soy sauce? No. Plain cold and with the head still on it. Ooh. What do you say? Gross, gross, gross. When is your spa day picks? Oh, Falcon, it's not booked yet. Mm. I have n I do not have a spa day planned, unfortunately. Perhaps one day. Happy birthday, Quan! Hi! Thank you so much for the birthday wishes. It is my birthday, that's right. No, it's not awkward. <laughs> it's still my birthday, thank you very much. You know that voice? Oh, it doesn't ring a bell to me. Does anyone know? Don't eat raw fish. Don't eat raw fish, it's not good for you. Although they have it, they have it raw in for um, sushi, don't they? I'm certain Joel is already ordering this bar day for you. I doubt that very much. <laughs> okay. All right, it's a bet. Great. I am really looking forward to making you eat my catch. What with all the sewage from Governor Fat's mansion, the fish are usually pretty gross. Ew. I never eat mine, just sell them to restaurants. Best get fishing, buddy. <laughs> I do not want to know the waste coming from that guy. That is nasty. Ali, 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 door. What did I get from Joel today? Uh, Joel got me. Joel got me this really cool book um, about learning how to draw. It says you will know how to learn. 
you will know how to draw by the end of this book and it's like a, a book about different exercises and learning how to draw obviously and he also got me a game what's it called again room rumor this looks like a lighthouse on a beach Shh. we got told off hello oh hang on want to hear a a fantastic ghost story? <laughs> Want to hear a fantastic ghost story? Shh! This is a library. Whisper! Now, what is it? He owes me. <laughs> you could get him to be ordering a spa day, could you? He's, um... Isn't he forgiven once he he's on stream with a dark pink be it. That was the rule, right? Why do you have a model lighthouse here? There's a new lighthouse being built in town. That is a scale model of what it will look like. I see. It's, it's uh, lovely. Does it work? Does it work? It wouldn't be much of a lighthouse if it didn't, now would it? Actually, I meant the model. Oh. Yes, normally the model works too. The bulb is burned out right now, but there's a scaled down lens inside. Okay then. I'm looking for a book. Do you have a library card? No. No. How do I get one? <gasps> I'll need some personal information. Lady oh my Name? <laughs> Thank you so much. Thank you very much for the birthday wishes. So lovely to have you here. How are you doing? How's your weekend been? Look at those little birthday cakes. Thank you so much. Sure, but will he do it? Yeah, he'd do it. He would dye his, his beard pink. Uh, I mean, if it was temporary, he would. Then he'd be able to take it, wash it out before work. Is that acceptable? Somehow we need to send Vic to the best spa day ever. Oh, thank <laughs> you guys. Guybrush Threepwood, Captain Dread, Herman Tufrot. <laughs> Guybrush Threepwood. Address? Um, 10 Downing Street. 10 Downing Street. Age? 21, 21, 9, uh, 21. <laughs> uh, 21. 21, 21 again. Occupation? Consultant, freelance, unemployed, pirate. Pirate. Vices. Ooh. No speaking, jaywalking, murder, arson, thievery, that sort of thing. Murder, arson, thievery, that sort of thing. I see. All right. Your library card will be mailed to the address you gave me. In the meantime, take this temporary card. Thank you. you may check books out of the library, but only four at a time. Uh. That's about as many titles as I can remember anyhow. What book are you looking for? I don't know. What do you have? Mm, I don't know. What have you got? You expect me to name every book in the library? Use the card catalog like a normal person. Mm. Right, we need to find where that... that... Uh, um, what was it called? The Mad Monkey? The ship that went down with the figurehead that the, the shopkeeper wants? Uh. I don't know if we <laughs> we found it. I don't, oh god, I don't know. See, this is what I mean, I hate this card catalogue. What the fudge am I looking for? I've had it with this card catalogue. I have had it with this card catalogue. Open the lighthouse. There's a model lighthouse lens inside. Woohoo! Oh, sorry. Aha! Uh-oh, it's stuck. I think I broke it. This is a library. 
Yes, yes. We can give that to Wally. Right, guys, I'm gonna have to save, unfortunately, and quit out. Um, so I can go home and get ready for work and also go to bed early because I did not sleep at all yesterday and I kind of need it. 